so in those previous clips you saw where I was getting this goat ready to cook for the next day so I normally wash my clean up my goat and wash it in vinegar and water cut any bigger chunks of goat into smaller pieces um, you saw where I had cut up onions um, I added some pimento seeds um, I did add some like a tablespoon of oil into this and some little dash of um, liquid hot pepper to seal in the powdered season within this and then I covered that and placed it into the fridge overnight so now the next day I'll be getting ready to cook this I have my stove here um, hot I've added some coconut oil into the base of the pot the Dutch pot and then I'll be adding the goat the, in this hot oil I normally let the goat sear a little bit the pieces sear a little bit and then I cover the surface of the goat with some water cover it over and let it cook for an hour or less and I keep on checking at certain intervals to see if the water has draw, um, you know has boiled out and then add reapply when needed so um, I normally use my Dutch oven to do my goat my roast beef roast pork stew pork that kind of stuff because I tend that it gives a better flavor rather than put it in the pressure cooker yes you can do it in a pressure cooker but you um, tend to get find that you get all those flavors when you do it um, slower so this might be the up uh, the similar to a crock pot but I mean some people when they use a crock pot they tend to sear their meat first in like a pot like this and then they place it in a crock pot so I've added the goat in as I said and with everything onions all the season that I had um, cut up overnight into it I add all of it because basically when you're done it's all gonna cook out and it's all gonna be so yummy you won't see any pieces of onion or anything like that because it's already cooked within the meat giving you all of that flavor of onion skelly and thyme all of that um, yeah so one other thing guys I won't be saying much from here on I'll just come back and check at intervals to see what if my water has drawn down after when I put water in this and add when needed and I'll just show you that and as I said I'll do less talking So guys, I'm down to the last half an hour of cooking this goat. So this is what it looks like. This is the liquid so far. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add this sweet, sorry, this Irish potato, one small Irish potato, that red pepper and about three stalks of thyme. I'm gonna drop this in, add a little bit of the water to, you know, evenly cook the potatoes, and then I'm gonna show you my secret. Give that a little twirl, stick one hole 
in my pepper. I have kids at home. They'll probably be eating from this pot. Can't let the dinner be too cooked. Too, sorry, the dinner be too hot in terms of pepper. This is what it looks like. I guarantee you that if I were to chew on this, it would be to my liking. I did a chew test before and it was good. Potatoes will cook to soft. Some of them might even, you know, cook out and thicken the gravy some more. And I'm gonna. So, guys, if you want your goat to taste like the one in Jamaica, ram it up is the next best thing. So this small package, as you can see, gives you a ram flavor for at least three pounds of mutton. I don't have three pounds right here. I have about a pound, a pound and a half. So I've been, I've used this packet before and I have some remaining of it. This is what the powder looks like. So you don't want your goat to be too salty. So just bear in mind the amount of ram it up you put in based on the amount of powdered season that you all had already added to your raw meat. Let this cook now for an additional 15 minutes. Simmer down some more because I want the gravy of this curry mutton to be thicker than what you're seeing right here. And then I'll just come back and show you a picture of the finished product so guys I thank you for watching um, please share and subscribe tell a friend and stay tuned bye